Hey guys, Magic here. Today I wanted to talk about why I don't really consider myself a witch, even though my son and a lot of my friends seem to consider me one. Um, I do not personally call myself a witch. Um, I mean, I did used to, when I was much younger, I used to do things that were considered magic and a lot more freely and openly all the time but then I kind of shut that part of me down or out or like I kind of denied that part of myself for a long time because it was unaccepted and it got me a lot of ridicule and people would were very um, mean kind of some we even got violent um, there was a point in time where I was actually afraid of for my life because of it so I kind of shut that part of me out to try to you know blend in a little better so I would uh wouldn't be in so much danger but I'm um, trying to get back to that part of me because that's part of my spiritualness and part of who I am as a person so trying to get back to that but um I still don't consider myself a witch even today not because I'm like scared of some retribution or anything um there's been some people some of my friends think it's because of how I was raised Catholic and you know and then a lot of Christian and other uh, religions being a witch is a, considered a bad thing and so you know maybe it's just all that dogma or whatever you want to call it seeping into my brain and making it impossible for me to be okay with that term but I am okay with the term I have friends that are witches and I don't mind that doesn't bother me at all um so I don't really think that's it um I mean I have been called a witch but like I said before by other people um one of my children's fathers used to even call me a baby witch. Um, but I've never, like I said, I've never personally called myself one. Um, could Maybe it is the dogma. I don't know. I don't think it is. Because if it was, I think I'd have a problem with witches in general or the term in general. But I don't. Um, maybe it's because I, I don't know. Another a theory that I had was is that maybe it's just because I hate labels. Because I do. I really hate being put in a box. I don't like labels because they put me in a box. They make me have to fit into this mold. I don't like that. So that could be a part of it. Because by labeling myself, I'm putting myself in a box in the terms. Even if like, even though, you know, it allows you to be a lot more open and do a lot more things technically. I would feel like I was in a box. So that might play part of it. Or, you know, maybe it's just that I'm really don't have that much confidence a lot of time I feel incompetent um so like I mean yeah I do rituals yeah I do a lot of things but like I don't ever I, I have a lot a hard time having confidence in it unless I'm by myself like I have to be completely alone if there's other people around I lose all confidence and I feel like I have no idea how to function uh when I'm trying to do certain things um also maybe it's also probably part of my lack of memory because I have friends and people I know that can just have all this stuff memorized. They can just do it without having to look at anything. I have to write things down and I have to look at stuff because like my memory is shot. I blame the head trauma. <laughs> but seriously, I can't remember things. It's like, um, that's part of the reason for the way that I read tarot, which is a uh, very different from the way other people do it. Whenever I do it for myself or other people, the way I do it is, is, is I have the person first look at the card look at their what they see in it what catches their eye what that means to them what the card makes them feel brings up for them or symbolizes to them in their own personal meaning then because i suck at remembering things i read them what the card typically symbolizes and then we use the two to kind of decipher what it means because um obviously like see for everyone symbols are different like some people see spiders and they're scared. Others see spiders as like wisdom and other things. Some people are terrified of snakes. I see snakes as like a symbol of power and freedom and good, not but evil. And a lot of people see snakes as evil. So everyone has these different ideas of symbols and things. So what the card means to one person could mean something completely different to another person. I think it's more about how it resonates with you. So I have them figure out how it resonates with them. And I read them the traditional meaning of the card. And usually there is some way that those two things fit together perfectly for whatever the reading is for, whether it's something in their life or a relationship or whatever. And that's how I do it. But part of, I initially started uh, doing that just because um, I couldn't actually remember what it meant. Um, so I would just read what it typically meant. And then I was like, well, you know, when I look at this card, that's not what I 
how I feel about it. So I was like, well, personal meaning could also play a part in this. So I started to experiment with that. So, um, but no, I don't, I don't consider myself a witch. I'm sorry, guys, I was off topic. Um, if you guys would like to know any more about me or, uh, how I think about things, <laughs> uh, just uh, leave a comment down below. Um, I'd appreciate it if you'd sub subscribe. Um, could really use the support. Anyway, uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you always tuning in. Remember to go out and spread the love because love always wins. Bye.